What up, everybody? We're about to do a little gaming. up everybody so man I didn't realize like uh, I started playing this game a little bit um, last year on like a live stream um, and I meant to continue but that was almost a year ago and I haven't played it I, I forgot to I didn't realize it had been that long so uh, now we're gonna finally play a little bit of this game here of Neptune. Um, what's weird? Uh oh, what's going on? There we go. <laughs> um, hmm, interesting. I have been having some trouble with this keyboard, so I'm hoping that everything's going to be okay. So far, so good, but we'll see. So, yep, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. This is uh, Istanbul. This is the sunken uh, palace under the Hagia Sophia Mosque. And I think I'm just supposed to jump in, aren't I? It's been a long time since I played this game. Sharks there, I need to watch out. Um, uh, uh, uh. Okay, I think I am gonna have to go this way. Hmm. Hope everyone's doing well tonight. Appreciate you guys uh, joining me here. Uh, this is, you know, gameplay-wise, probably probably the best Indiana Jones uh, video game out there. What up, buddy? How are you? Sniper can't snipe. Thanks for joining me. For some reason, I forgot the... I think one of the reasons why I kind of stopped playing this game was because something is a little funky with the controls. I'm not sure why. One thing is, like, when you're swimming, it, it wants to... Um, have you go, like... It, like, you know, forces your guy downward, sort of. I'm not sure why. Like, some sort of glitch I've been experiencing, I guess. There we go. Um... Oh, maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Looks like there's going to be a lot of trial and error, that's okay. Uh, 
Let's see. Hey, it's nice to see someone, some Emperor's Tomb. We really need a new Indiana Jones video game with Euphoria physics similar to Uncharted. I hope the new indie game coming out this year or the next year is like that. Yeah, actually, one reason why I um, uh, decided to, to play a little bit right now is because there's uh, apparently like a... a Bethesda Xbox Showcase coming up. Um, at the end of January to highlight some of their upcoming games, but apparently, well, it, apparently it's just games coming out this year that they're highlighting, and I, I don't think that the Indiana Jones game's coming out this year, so I kind of doubt that we're having any, we're gonna have any, uh, glimpses of Indiana Jones at that showcase, which is coming up um, at the end of, uh, near the end of this month. But I went ahead, I made a little video anyways, I just haven't uh, published it. I published it in the morning. Yeah, this is well, well overdue. I remember the game getting advertised in the Indiana Jones 2003 DVDs. Oh, did it? I, re I had those DVDs. I, I still have them. I guess I didn't realize there was an advertisement. When I played, I also had issues with the gameplay. Ah, okay, good. So it's not just me. I played it on the Xbox originally. Um, I didn't play it on PC. Um, hmm. I don't remember having that trouble before. Punching is so great in this game. It's full. It's full. Alright, good. So that's the disc. But where was I supposed to put this disc? Hopefully the new indie game gets a reveal, but a lot of the new big Star Wars games aren't re aren't releasing this year either, and instead coming out in 2024-25, so indie may be in the same release window. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm supposed to take this coin somewhere. I'm imagining it's this way. Ah, this is kind of familiar. All right. Oh, but where's our coin at? Uh. Wow. 
Welp. I hope we still have the coin. Because it suddenly uh, disappeared on me. Uh, ooh, can I make that? It's a little far. But we'll try it. Ah. Let me see. I believe there is a large door somewhere at the end of the level. You need four different coins to open it, so just hold on to the coin and get the other ones. Oh, okay. So it's automatically, uh... Like in my inventory somewhere, is it? Because he was holding it, but I don't remember how to uh, pull it out. Let's see. Unless maybe it automatically uh, pulls it out. It's going to take a bit of uh, trial and error here, I think. Yeah, I only vaguely remember this level. I love the level design, though. Oh, but I can use these well, the sharks, right? Sharky, sharky, sharky. Like that, right? Aha! Gotcha! Let me see. That's another somewhere, but maybe not. I guess I have to go back in the water. Oh, I can uh, grab another grenade, though, for later. Oops. Boom. I guess I can only hold on to one, huh? Here, I guess, because I can't hold it apparently. I suppose I could swim with it. Yeah. Woohoo! Just to be sure. Uh, ah. Okay, yeah, there it is. There's that coin. Oh, and I do have that grenade there. Cool. Ah, oh, man. I really had a lot of trouble. 
struggle with the controls here. Yeah, this is the game music, and you might recognize it because I use the music from this game a lot uh, on my channel. So that's some dynamite, so that's exactly what I need. Which indie film score is your favorite? Hmm. I mean, that's a tough question because they're all so good. Like, I love all of them so much, to be honest. Because, as a, I want I don't want to give an answer that's the same like as the films. Because when I people ask me what's your favorite film, it's like, like I love all of them. I especially love Raiders and I love Temple of Doom and Last Crusade. And I feel like my answer to that is pretty much the same. Oh wait, no, I need to go back because I need to get that. Uh, Explosive and blow up the wall way back uh, where I was before. Also, have you played the other three big indie games, Infernal Machine, Fate of Atlantis, and Staff of Kings? Yes, I've played all of them. Um, to varying degrees. I'm not sure if I've ever finished any of them, to be honest. I think Emperor's Two might be the only one that I've, like, actually finished... Uh, you know, all the way through. I played. I've played most of Fate of Atlantis. I'm trying to remember, because I like rented the Wii Staff of Kings like a long time ago, and I played through some of it. I don't know if I finished that game or not. Maybe I did. I may. I may have played through Staff of Kings entirely. 
but Infernal Machine was the one that always uh, gave me some trouble. Crusade has a really good score, though, by the way. Um... Can I not climb this rope? I feel like I should be climbing this rope. Or is it only chains that I can climb? Does anyone know if I can... Why am I not able to climb this? I'm playing on... Um, on mouse and keyboard, by the way. Let's see. Honestly, if Savage King had been released uh, for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 as originally intended, with the Fury physics, it would have been much better than the Wii and PS2. Oh, definitely, dude. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's a real shame what happened uh, to that game. Ah. Interesting. You click it with your mouse to climb. Hurt me more than him. Aha! And uh oh. Aha! But last Crusade's score is the fact that he doesn't use the Raiders March enough. Raiders and Temple use it much more throughout. Ah, oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I was watching somebody posted something on Facebook or something, and and like uh, um, John Williams was talking about how he was trying to um, since it's like a father son story, he wanted to use like types of music that you would in like a father-son drama, sort of. I'll try not to blow myself up. There's not a shark down here, is there? They've been giving me a lot of grenades in this map and I've not really seen to have much of a need for them. This 
So yeah, definitely gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking here. I doubt there's anything underwater in this section. Yeah, we'll take a look. Oh, there's one. See if there's anything else interesting. Oh shoot! <laughs> Ow! Oh no! Oh. Ouch! Alright. I did not see that shark. Probably be underwater the other one, I think. You know, it must be in this room. Uh, this one I'm about to head to. Oh, let me uh, drink some water. It's a phenomenal soundtrack, says DL Channel about Last Crusade. And he also says, which indie game would you like to see adapted into a film the most? Yeah, definitely Fate of Atlantis is the, uh, is the best choice, as you said, and probably uh, Infernal Machine is a, is a good uh, second choice also. And those are both um, games from... Uh, what's our guy's name? Uh, Hal Barwood uh, wrote the script for most of those games. For both of those games. Now, is there a shark? Alright, let's look around and find the last coin. After all, Oh, and someone else said something. Sorry, I forgot. I love this game. It's challenging, but not impossible. Really well balanced. Yeah. It does have a little bit of challenge to it, doesn't it? Alright, so it doesn't seem... like the... last coin is in this room. Maybe I should just double check up there really quick before I go back to the previous room. Now, the previous room is very big, so it would make sense that it's uh, in that room. Indiana Jones meets Jaws. <laughs> One Spielberg icon comes face to face with the other. Uh, that's funny. sure I would have seen it. Oh. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it's 
here. Okay. Did I already fill it up? Uh, I guess I filled it up. I did. Yeah, now I remember. Well, it did give me quite a few demo charges. I wonder if there's one somewhere that I missed. Explore around up here. Before I jump back in the water. Ah, there it is over there. Looks like this is what I'm supposed to do. There we go. some good progress here. What other classic franchise do you like besides Jaws? A few favorite of mine says DL Channel says a few favorite of mine are Alien, Star Wars, Ghostbusters, Die Hard, etc. Oh yeah, man, those are all good ones. Definitely. So for me, um, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and James Bond were like the big three for me ever since I was a kid. Um, and I also love Lord of the Rings. Um, I love uh, Alien Predator Terminator. Oh. Um, I love Jurassic Park. I used to be really big into Back to the Future, but I haven't uh, gotten into that one. I've been into that one. I haven't watched those movies in a long time. I was really into uh, Die Hard back in the day. I haven't watched that one in, in a long time either. Yeah, Ghostbusters is always a, a fun one. I'm not uh, like a massive fan the way, uh, you know, I know there are some really big Ghostbusters fans out there. It doesn't uh, come close to like Indiana Jones, for example, for me. Uh, but that first Ghostbusters movie is so good. It's like, you know, perfect. Oh. Oopsies. Do, 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 do. I went back and I watched uh, The Mummy for the first time in a long, long time recently. And I forgot how good that movie is. That's a, that's a great sort of... 
kind of sequel to uh, spiritual sequel ish to uh, in, in or I should say like a, a very uh, good successor to Indiana Jones. First first movie absolutely terrific, obviously. Love the second movie too. Third movie has, I guess, a few good parts, maybe. I don't know. But it was kind of like, saw it in theaters. Had no reason to see it again for a long, long time. And I, I did watch it last week, uh, along with the other ones. But, yeah, it's kind of a weird movie. But it would be kind of uh, interesting uh, to see Brendan Fraser come back to that role. Uh, there was a little bit of discussion about that recently. Um, let me see here. Oh. But yeah, dude, Aliens. I love, um, I love those first two Alien movies. Those are so good. It's so different. Like, one is, you know, mainly a horror movie, and the other one is, like, mainly a sci-fi movie, but they both work. Uh, oh, that was another one. Yeah, especially the second one, Aliens. What a great movie, man. Beautiful level. I love uh, the water uh, waterfalls there and the statue. Let's see. Okay, so I I remember I have to turn the water off first. find something that will turn the water off. And after I turn the water off, then I can use that whip post over there. That thing looks whippable. Uh-oh. Uh, speaking of soundtracks, this game has a really good soundtrack. somewhere around here and see what that is see where it is I'm certain that I'm supposed to turn the water off somehow
Soon we need a shish kebab. You know what? Boom! This is what you get. And you. Ha Treasure. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see what you guys are saying here. Just want to say, Temple of Doom is criminally underrated. Such an awesome sequel. Speaking of awesome sequels. Aliens, Terminator 2, Predator 2, Robocop 2, and Godfather Part 2 are all amazing. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, Temple of Doom, great film. Yeah, underrated for sure. I Temple of Doom has 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 um, risen for me. It's now, I think, my second favorite. It's kind of overtaken Last Crusade. And there's, there's kind of been, I think overall, Last Crusade has kind of gone down a little bit recently. Although, like, it, it's like perfect, obviously. But, um, I think there was a, a feeling for me that it was better than Raiders when I first got into Indiana Jones. And a lot of that is because of Sean Connery. He's so good. Him and Harrison Ford have great chemistry. Um, but also a Indian short round is a great uh, combo. And the last like you know forty five minutes of that movie is just incredible. Oh. For the spear, is it? Alright, let me see if there's a place that I'm supposed to put this here. No. Um, but yeah, pretty much all of those movies that you said I love. Um, yeah, Robocop 2 is maybe one that's like Robocop 1 is like perfect. Um,. I, you know, I, I don't think Robocop 2 is as good, but I know some people, like, really love it. And there's definitely some awesome stuff in it. And, you know, just having Peter Weller uh, as Robocop again is great. Speaking of which, I can't wait to uh, see him play uh, Robocop again in that upcoming video game. That would be cool. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Uh, but yeah, all those ones that you said. Um, yes, Aliens, Terminator 2, love them. Predi definitely love, I mean, I love Predator 2. Not as good as the first one, but... Oh, and I loved Prey. I got to see Prey at, like, the premiere screening at San Diego Comic-Con last year. That was a pretty cool experience. And, like, all the actors were there, and the director, and everybody. That was really cool. And Godfather Part 2, yeah, it's definitely an uh, amazing movie. I've only seen it once. It's been a long time. Alright. Um, so I feel like I'm supposed to go up. Hmm. Unless it's, uh, unless it's down below.
Let's see what we're saying here. Are you still doing the fan edit of King of the Crystal Skull? I remember seeing your video of making Indy fire his pistol on the Cemetery Warrior. If Indy had a gun, he should be able to use it. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Um, yes, I... Well, yes and no. So, I just posted the work in progress, which is like, a, you know, no, 40 minutes long. Right place. Um... supposed to get off. Let's see. Aha, there we go. So yeah, there's a 40 minute cut that I have. It's basically the first half of the movie. Uh, here's our boss. Okay. Um I have to think, get my bearings here. But I haven't really been, like, working on it. Because I kind of got burned out. So, oh, it's... I'm supposed to plant charges on my... Oh... I'm supposed to plant charges, but I'm not sure if that's what I'm... Why can I not chop at those? Oh no! Okay. Oh, this is not gonna go good. Oh no! No! Indy got eaten! I've seen all the big Harrison Ford films pretty much, like, I mean, pretty much all the, the action films of Harrison Ford I've seen. Climb up to the ledge above the water. It has a powerful weapon to use against the Kraken. Ah, oh, thank you.
course you working girl, girl no. A lot of like the dramas and stuff, uh like I've never seen for whatever reason. my super So do you recommend a working girl? I guess you probably must uh, since you mentioned it. Marshal Kai is not who he appears to be. Kaiti Chan is not just an officer in the army, he's also the head of the Black Dragon Triad, the most powerful criminal syndicate in China. He has formed a secret alliance with the Nazis to find the heart of the dragon. So I'm guessing you're not his secretary. I'm working undercover for the Chinese government, monitoring the Black Dragon Triad. I hoped to sabotage Kai's hunt for the heart myself, but then your intrusion complicated matters. How's that? Once you beat Von Beck to the first piece of the mirror, Kai saw his opportunity to double-cross the Nazis and keep the heart for himself. He's as mad as the Nazis. That's why we must enter the tomb and remove the heart before Kai or the Nazis get there. Why should I trust you? First of all, I could have left you back there with the Nazis, and secondly... <laughs> you don't have anything I need. Good point. Please tell me you have a plan. There is a plane waiting to take us to Hong Kong, where we'll meet a smuggler who will take us to Kai's fortress. Wuhan! So Let's go. <laughs> I love how, like, these girls are dressed in, like, you know, these, like, sort of, like, nice, like, fancy, sexy like dresses uh as if they're like dancing but they're in the sunken temple underneath the high sophia like exploring this like washed up sunken temple like i said Absolutely stunning you look in that dress. Oh, Ford is the third Sigourney Weaver. Nice. Dr. Jones. Let's stick to business, shall we? So, where's your smuggler friend? Wuhan's helped me several times. He'll be here. And he'll take us to Kai's fortress? Yes. Well, we'll find the mirror pieces and the parcha. The pa what? You'll need more than your gun once you're inside Chin's tomb. There are things worse than Nazis. Wonderful. Something's not right. Wait here. Great timing. Thanks. From the gentleman in balcony number two, sir.
I should be able to make a gong sound there, I think. But alas, it is not the case. However, I am gonna grab this here and that's not gonna work. Like, this is a lover, lover for me, isn't it? It's not. Funny how any gets into two different Chinese nightclub brawls in a matter of a week. Yeah. Which it doesn't make sense that um, they would set this like uh, that they would um, have Wuhan meet Indiana Jones for the first time in this game because he says, "I followed you on many adventures." And then, in this game, you know, that's in, in Temple of Doom, but then in this game he meets him for the first time, and then he's like, okay, now let's go go see Lao Shea. Doesn't make any sense. But I think they did it because they wanted uh, Mei Ying to be the centerpiece or whatever. We'll just watch her get her butt kicked.
Kid, didn't I? Yeah, this is a good level. I forgot about this level. What kind of fedora do you own? Just wanted to say, Herbert Johnson sells some of the most authentic indie fedoras if you're looking for another one, but they're pricey. Yeah, I'll probably look into that one day. Um, if, my, if my channel grows really good so I can get some good uh, income and buy all the little goodies I always wanted, but uh, I have just like a, I don't know, it's like an official Indiana Jones, like, knockoff one, uh, a replica or something. I mean, it's pretty, it's a good quality one. 
but I actually am going to be getting another one pretty soon. Um, I have a friend on Facebook who is uh, making me one. So, as soon as, uh, whenever he finishes it, I'm going to have a new fedora and I'll wear that and I'll make a video about it and uh, show everybody my uh, Hindi fedora. This ought to even up the odds. This ought to even up the odds. Also, I wanted to know in each film, in each fedora is different. I'm not sure if the Crystal Skull is any different from the Last Crusade fedora used, though. Yeah, I yeah, people have told me about that. Yeah, I like. I think Temple of Doom is the one that's like most strikingly different. Um, yeah. I know that in this one, Jones, in Indy 5, the, yeah, the hell are you? here's Wuhan. Is Wuhan. I'm here to meet Minyu. Well, you just missed her. And so I noticed. Please get in. We must hurry. Don't you want a car? Um, but in Indy 5, I'm not sure about the fedora, but the I think they said the jacket is the same one from Raiders. Or, you know, a copy of it or something. I got this part in first person. This must be the only first person Indiana Jones level ever. So there is precedent for Indiana Jones in first person.
Fortress. A Pungalai Island, most likely. We'll have to move fast. Where's your boat? At the next stop. Hop in. I think I'll walk. Wuhan must be an Olympic runner, for he has got like running capabilities to be able to be to run and pull off. And pull that ritual like that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I love how the game score feels cinematic and John Williams like was Clint but Jackie and did a super dope job. Yeah, dude, he did amazing. The highest peak of Lai Island. I don't suppose they have an elevator. No. But there is a gondola system that runs throughout the entire complex. It can't be that easy. It's not. The gondola station is in the middle of a Nazi submarine base. Figures. Good luck. I'll be here when you get back. Aren't you coming along? <laughs> what good is finding Mei Ying if you can't get off the island? Right. this map. Oh shoot. Oh, run away. Oh, I don't have anything. Oh, oh man. Give me air. Oh man, was that a shark? came from, right? Oh, 
I need to get going, but thanks for taking the time. Thank you for streaming. Good luck with the rest of that person. Thanks, my friend. Thanks for joining me. It was fun. Yeah, I probably will wrap it up, actually. Um, momentarily. I just want to kind of take a look around. Yeah, it was fun to uh, chat with you, my friend. You have a good one. charges. Something else in here, right? I'm sure that's not something I could... Good to know that I can aim. You want fireworks? I'll give them fireworks. Is the opening. Damn. Okay. Whew. I'm sure I can't kill a shark, right? No, no, no. Oh my god. I keep forgetting to drink my water. Alright. I'm gonna drink my water. Drink my water. Drink my water.
Do it the old fashioned way. Ah. No, no. Run away, run away. situation uh, I suppose I can use this huh There wasn't a uh, fountain in that map, huh? I must have missed it. I must have. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's a good place to uh, call it quits. Sorry to end on a downer. Oh, hey, sometimes you gotta button match to victory, lol. Oh, do we do? What up, buddy? How are you? All right, well, since you're here, I'll, I'll play another five minutes just so you can see something. Good to see you, buddy. Man, I have like no health. This is tough uh, I guess I don't have a medical kit or anything huh man I had the all those medical kits in the Istanbul level and they don't carry over what up Kevin shortcut oh I'm gonna die because I keep trying to read what you're saying I have like no help. Oh. 
let's see. Haha, <laughs> alright, why not, buddy? Miss you, man. Still living West Coast, Kevin? Yes, sir, I am in uh, Orange County in uh, Mission Viejo. Are you, you're up in like San Jose, are you? Or where are you right now? And where is a damn water fountain? Morgan Hill, south of San Jose. Nice. What's uh, what's new? What do you, what are you doing these days? Do you, uh, uh, what are you doing for work and all that? Do you let me know. Social services. Oh, okay. That must be a good job then, huh? Kevin, are you working? So I'm not working a job job right now. Do, 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 do. Right now I am um, trying to get this YouTube channel going. I am monetized, so I do make money for my YouTube channel. channel and you know if you can if you put out like a good video that's like sort of a hit then you know you can make passable money at least enough to sort of get by but I'm, I'm not quite there yet I was doing pretty good a few months ago um, I had a video that's like the making of the Indiana Jones uh, 5 movie and um, there, when a, when a new trailer came out, a lot of people were searching for Indiana Jones, and the, my video kind of caught on, but that sort of ended now. I mean, it's not, people are still watching it, but not as much as they were there.
see what you mean. If you have a popular video, over time it tends to lose traction. Yeah. I believe in you, man. Just keep up putting out content. Thank you, buddy. Uh, is that where it's supposed to go? I totally thought you overshot it. There we go, we two, I made it. I made it. We'll watch a cutscene and then I'll probably go. I thought there's a cutscene here. through this whole level but yeah that's it that's uh that's what it's all about um yeah man here let me come on there we are there now i can kind of properly communicate in like real time So I'm gonna end the stream here, but we can. I think we can stay on for a few moments and chat. Oh, moving to Florida. Oh, you'll be on your own. Let's do that. That's much better. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me today. I wish you all fortune and glory. Bye-bye now.